when I found them uh, in my pocket after leaving my house in Damascus, I I thought like, wow, this is great that I still have them. And uh, at the same time, the feeling that like, okay, I might go back with these keys and entering my flat, which I definitely don't know when I will be returning to it. So my name is Tarek. Uh, I'm from Damascus, Syria. I was forced to leave my country. It was definitely my choice, but it was a choice after being living like hard times, like five years in the war, the point where I felt that if I don't leave, maybe I will be killed at some point. Uh, so the first thing I did is moving to Lebanon, Beirut, and yes, there I started my new life up there in 2016. Uh, I studied there in graphic design, and also I joined Natakellam. I, uh, I was working as an Arabic teacher. I changed like three flats in Lebanon, so I was keeping all the, the keys of the flats. <laughs> I hold them in a bag, the, the, the bag of memories, I would say. I spent at least like a year or two in each flat. So it was great to somehow keep the keys with me. I'm not going to steal later the flat, no. But it's just like uh, I, I have them, so I lived here. But in 2019, things got tough, more tough and more tough, like in Lebanon, uh, because of the revolution first. And then there was like the um, COVID-19 started, and then the inflation, lots of uh, economical problems. And then the last thing was the port explosion. It was really close to my flat and destroyed somehow the whole neighborhood. And uh, also they told me like, there is no more residency for you because you graduate. And they told me that you have five days to leave the country. I should leave the country, otherwise I would be illegal and I might go to, to prison. So I quickly organized something with my friends and paid lots of money and then left. So I arrived in uh, Istanbul, Turkey in 4th of September. Maybe like in 10 years, maybe I will be returning to Lebanon and check the flats where I lived. And ah, okay, and I lived here and uh, there was like lots of memories here. And maybe also I go back to Syria and check my flat and uh, remember everything that happened. <laughs>